Welcome everyone, my name is David Campos and here with me is Samantha Merritt. Today we're here at Graphics One and you're joining us for our Making a T-Shirt in 60 Seconds and More webinar. Here we're displaying our Oki C831. Um, this printer, it's a really great unique machine. Um, with its technology, it's able to print from anything as small as a 4x6 postcard all the way up to a 52 inch banner sheet. And it has a great print speed of up to 35 pages per minute. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the machine and show you what's inside. Action. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and show you inside the machine some of its features. Right here it has an easy access point for the black toner cartridge. Uh, the purpose for that is because black is typically the most common used color. Uh, so this is probably going to be one that you'll change out the most. So it has this nice easy open feature for it. But if you need to access the others, you go ahead and pop open the machine. And you can see the other three toner cartridges here, the cyan, the magenta, the yellow, uh, all followed by the black, as well as the four LED heads that are part of the technology of the printer. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut this uh, machine closed and I'll pass you on to Samantha and she can talk to you about our heat presses. This is our EL600 Metal Knox heat press. It's a 20 by 16 inch swing away heat press. What's nice about this press is the even pressure, which you control by using this knob here, and here it will tell you the temperature that you'll be pressing it. This is our Metal Knox mug press, which is a 2x7 platen. You also, it will tell you the temperature you are pressing it and the amount of time that you will be pressing for. Now we are going to show you how to make a shirt. We are going to be using the Forever Laser Transparent Paper, which with this paper it's best to use vector images. And so you're going to want to put it in the multi-purpose tray, which the purpose of this is so that it goes straight through the printer. And now we are going to show you the settings that you want to print at. Okay, I'm going to be showing you the settings for the C831 with our Forever Laser Transparent Paper. Here we have a vector image. You're going to want to go to File, Print. From there, you're going to make sure that you have the right printer set up, and you're going to want to go to Setup. Preferences, under Layout, you're going to want to go to Advanced, and then you're going to make sure that you have letter size set up under Paper Size, and for Media Type, you're going to want to have Labels 1. From there, you're going to want to go to Job Options, and you're pretty much going to want to let the printer know that you want it to take paper from the multi-purpose tray. In Job Options, you want to make sure you have Fine Detail, and under Advanced, you want to make sure you click Mirror Print. And under color, you don't want to change any of the settings. You want to press OK, print, and then make sure you hit fit to page to make sure nothing is cutting off on your image. Now we're going to hit print. Okay, we're back and we've gone ahead and clicked print. So, have our paper inside the multi-purpose tray. The CA31 has a quick print feature, so which is really nice because you don't have to worry about the printer always having to warm up. It's going to go ahead and take our paper straight through the printer, as Samantha had mentioned before. And here on the other side, you're going to go ahead and see it's come out mirrored. We're going to go ahead and transfer that. So I'll pass that off to Samantha. She's going to go ahead and put the shirt on the press. Our heat press is already preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, which is about 356 Fahrenheit. Now she's laying it out flat, and she's going to go ahead and do a quick um, pre-press, just for a couple seconds. That helps remove the moisture from the shirt, and also gives it that good extra flat feeling, so when you go ahead and transfer, there's no wrinkles or creases. Now she's put the image on the shirt. You want to make sure you want to go ahead and center it, or wherever you're going to be placing it, have it in that location. And now she's going to press it for three to five seconds with low to medium pressure. After that time, she's going to go ahead and you can see, swinging it away, she's rubbing a cloth over it. And then after about five seconds, she's going to go ahead and peel the paper off. Now notice how she's starting in one corner and doing a consistent one-time peel diagonally across. It's very important. You can see the image is already on the shirt. Now for better washability and durability, Samantha's going to go ahead and repress 
the shirt. But this time she's gonna add a glossy finish paper on top. She's going ahead and raising the pressure to max pressure. Now at the same temperature, 180 degrees Celsius, she's gonna do this press for 30 seconds. And as we mentioned before, this helps with the washability and the durability of the transfer that's going onto the shirt. And as you saw, the Metal Knox is a swing away heat press. Its pressure system is in the center, so it allows even distribution of pressure and heat, which is very important for when you're using a toner-based transfer solution. Coming up to our 30 seconds. Swinging out, peeling off the paper. You can see it's given a nice little stretch and voila, our Worldwide Jams t-shirt done in under 60 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic to Samantha as she's going to talk to you about our mug solution. Now we are going to talk about how to transfer to a mug. For this process, we are going to be using our hard surface flip it paper. And for this, you're going to want to again put it in the multi-purpose tray. And for this paper, if you're going to be printing more than one sheet, you're going to want to hand feed each sheet due to static because the papers can stick together and the printer may take more than one sheet at a time and cause it to jam. So for this, we're going to be using the same settings as last time, the most important being labels one and then telling the printer that you want it to take from the multi-purpose tray. And so as it feeds through, uh, we're going to show you how to make a mug. Now as you can see it printed out three images. Um, so with the hard surface paper doing a mug you can go ahead and print multiple images um, onto the paper. And what you're seeing Samantha do now is she's going to head and cut out the image that she plans to transfer uh, to the actual mug. So depending on what you may be uh, transferring to, you may have a little bit of uh, some cutting to do for it, but she's cutting out the image. And then what she's gonna go ahead and do is tape that actual portion of the image using our heat transfer tape. And she's gonna tape that to our mug. Now, as you mentioned with the mug press, it is a two by seven uh, cylindrical mug press. It does have um, additional um, platens that you can uh, interchange within it. So if you wanted to go with a larger mug or if you wanted to do a conical shaped mug, you can go ahead. There are different platens that you can add on or switch out, which is another great feature of the Metal Knox mug press. Now, as you see, she's gone ahead and taped it on. Now what she's applying is a foam pad to the exterior of uh, the mug. Um, the foam pad comes with our Flip It Hard Surface Paper, and the purpose of the foam is so that it helps with the even distribution of the heat while it's being pressed, but it also helps uh, to protect the mug from the actual press um, that's inside. Now our press is already preheated to 170 degrees and it's going to be in there for about 3 minutes, 180 seconds. Our Go Flip It Hard Surface Paper comes at 8.5 by 11 all the way up to 11 by 17 size paper. And the reason for that is sometimes you may not just be transferring to mugs but you have larger hard surface objects that you want to transfer to. With that we have a couple examples here of our other hard surface samples. A silver aluminum metal piece that we have a white aluminum metal piece over there. We have two bottles, one that's coated white, one that's silver. Um, both of them are aluminum that we've gone ahead and transferred using our, um, our Flip It Hard Surface paper. This right here is a corkboard coaster. As you can see in the back, it's all cork, and in the front, it's just a white uh, portion that we've gone ahead and transferred onto. 
Over here on the side, we have luggage tags, keychains. These are all hard surface substrates that you can go ahead and transfer to with our GoFlipIt hard surface paper printing with the C831. So uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into our next portion of printing with the C830, which is our poly sign. Our Go Poly sign is a new product that we've introduced. Uh, it comes in white, clear, and we also have a bumper sticker application. And what it is, it's a permanent removable adhesive backed paper. Very, sim very similar to a sticker, but in this case, it's able to stay on permanently, but it's also able to be removed um, just in case you need for replacement and it's, e it's an easy application. It works for any flat surfaces such as metal, wood, glass, um, carbon fiber, uh, windows, plastic, things of that nature. Um, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and print with that now. Now we are going to show you the settings that you need to use for this paper. Now I'm going to show you the settings to print on our poly sign paper. Here's our image that we have. We're going to go to file print. Here you want to check and make sure you have the right printer set up again. You want to go to setup preferences. Here you're going to do mostly the same settings you did before. Advanced. Make sure you have the right size paper. This paper, you also want to use labels one. Paper quality, again, you're going to tell it that you want it to take the paper from the multi-purpose tray. Job options, fine and detail. The biggest difference is for this setting, you want to go advanced and not click mirror print. So that's the biggest difference in between printing with this and our other papers. And in color, you don't want to touch anything. And then you're going to want to have it fit to page to make sure nothing is being cut off and then hit print. Coming back now, our mug is done pressing. So we're going to take out our mug and set it aside to cool. Now we have one mug that's already done pressing. So this is what it looks like completely done. Now we're going to move forward and show you printing with our poly sign paper. So we're going to actually print two sheets, one with our white and one with our clear. Now as you can see, he's going to hand feed each sheet into the multi-purpose tray. So we're going to print our white first. And then once the white goes through, he'll put in the clear. So now both sheets are going through and coming out. And I'm going to hand the mic over to him. Now, Samantha's going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to use our poly sign. It has um, already a cut off edge for you, so that way it's an easy peel process. Simple as that is, she's going to go ahead and put it right on that board. Any bubbles that she has, you can just easily press them out. Now, let's say it's a little crooked and you want to go ahead and reposition it, peel it right off, and then go ahead and reapply it. Voila. And as we mentioned before, it leaves no adhesive residue behind. So you're not going to have any texture right behind it. It's going to be the original wall that you have. Now we're going to go ahead and show you our clear version. Now our Go Poly sign uh, for both the clear and the white come in eight and a half by 11, which you're seeing right here, but it also comes in uh, sizes up to 11 by 17. So that's our clear version right there, which is also really great for when you have white walls and you just want to show your image with no background. And as you can see, she's easily peeling it off and reapplying it. It's not peeling off on its own. It's staying on there by itself. That's why it has the permanent removable adhesive backing on it. 
Now, um, with that, as part of our promotional marketing items, we have a few more that we have displayed here, which the CA31 has also printed. You can see our small postcards, um, also flyers you can have uh, printed out, as well as brochures, both gloss and matte finish. These are all items that you can be doing with the CA31. We've shown you from the t-shirts, we've shown you the mugs, as well as other hard surfaces that we have presented right here, going all the way to promotional items, marketing items. Um, even in our poly sign, another feature that we have that you'll see up there is our bumper stickers. Um, our bumper stickers come two to an eight and a half by 11 with a perforated center so that way you can go ahead and peel them apart and apply them and it has the same removable adhesive uh, technology that you'll see. Easily peeled off, no residue left behind. Easily reapplied right after. So with all of that that we have, um, this is again our C831TS, our Metalnox EL600, and our Metalnox Mug Press. My name's David Campos. This is Samantha Merritt. We're here for you at any time. If you're interested in receiving samples, go ahead and contact us. You can email us at info at graphics1.com. You can go ahead and call us at 818 two six zero nine five nine one also if you see something that you want to go ahead and get transferred but you're not sure if it's capable go ahead and contact us we'll go ahead and like to test it out for you we can show you the results show you the process that we've come up with and help you build your business with that thank you so much for joining us we'll see you next time